how you can actually get results with visualization and why visualization hasn't worked for you specifically in the past. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I help entrepreneurs reprogram their mind, change their life, empower themselves to become happy, fulfilled, healthy, wealthy, abundant, whatever it is you name it, I do it. Now, the reason visualization hasn't worked for you specifically in the past is because you're doing it wrong. Don't get me wrong, I'm not digging on you. Reason being, you may not know the way that you personally represent the world. If I ask you this question, what are you consciously aware of right now? What would your answer be? Pause this video and, and, let, and we don't have to let me know, comment it if you want. What, what are you consciously aware of right this second? Was it something you saw? Was it something you heard? Or was it something you felt? So, I'll give a few examples. For me, when, so, when I'm asked that question, the first thing that comes to mind is camera, Buddha head, <laughs> computer, glass, chair. First things that come to mind. For me, I'm a very visual person. And we all represent the world, and it's, it's the VACOG model. This is in NLP, um, visual, auditory, uh, kinesthetic. They're the main three, so obviously visual, auditory, and then kinesthetic is the feeling. Then you've also got olfactory and gustatory, which is smell and taste. But they're not predominantly how we represent the world, although they do play a factor in it. So how do you represent the world? Was it something you heard? Was it the silence? Was it a loud noise? If it's a really loud noise, then that's slightly different because that's um, heightening the senses. That's it's like it's like me standing there going like that. What, what do you notice that straight away? What are the first things that come to you? Was it the quietness? Was it the humming of the fridge? Was it the humming of your laptop? Was it a, 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 the vibration of your phone? Or was it a feeling? Was it worry? Was it anxiety? Was it happiness? Was it joy? Was it the clothes on your skin feeling? Was it your socks on your feet? What was it that allowed you to represent that question? And another final way of doing it, um, if, if that hasn't worked for you, the other way that I use with people is, how, do you, how would you explain a past memory? What went on in that memory? Was it something you saw, something that was said, a voice, a specific voice, a sound, a song, a feeling of how someone made you feel? When you know that, you can visualize more effectively in your way. Now for visualization to work, you must add in all five senses to work to a high level. What can you see? So I'll give an example of my visualization. I'll, I'll put it into, I'll, I'll, I'll paint the picture for me, how it would work for me, and how you can adapt your visualization specifically. So I'm a visual person. So if you're a visual person, go with something that what I do. If you're more of an auditory person or a feeling based person, put that as the main sense you're working with. So as a visual person, when I close my eyes, the one visualization I see myself is on stage, the stage is black, I can feel my feet on the stage, I can see the people in the audience, I can literally see, see, the, see the chairs right there, they're, they're right here. I can hear the sounds of people clapping, I can hear the sounds of people cheering, I can feel the clothes I'm wearing, it's just a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and a nice pair of shoes. What can I smell? I can smell some flowers, there's some flowers, maybe some scents and taste maybe even a bit of a dry mouth because it's something that I'm excited to do. So, what is, what is your visualization? That's my visualization, that's where I'm going and this video is just gonna be a bit of proof just to anyone that visualization works <laughs> um, and I will be playing this one day. But just allow yourself to really get to that place, know what it is like, make it familiar. When the visualization is familiar, you don't have to think about it. The reason it was so hard when you first started to drive a car was because there was so much going on. I always use this analogy. Foot on the clutch, into first gear. Have you got your seatbelt on? Press your indicator. Foot slightly on the accelerator, slowly off the clutch, into second gear. There's so much to do. Now it's one process. Visualization is exactly the same. First of all, I had to add in the visual senses. Then I had, had to add in the sounds of the people cheering. Then I had to add in the, the feeling of my shoes on the floor. The feeling of the clothes on my back. Was it a short sleeve t-shirt? Was it a long sleeve t-shirt? Make it specific. When you make it specific, it allows it to come to you because you know and it's familiar. Again, like I said, when something is familiar, it's just easy. It's a subconscious habit. Once it's a subconscious habit, you just do it anyway. You don't think about it. 
You just start to visualize. I get to points where I'm just sitting there in the day and I'll start to visualize. I can do it with my eyes open. I can get back to that place because I know what it's like. It is familiar for me. It's not about if, it's about when. When you get to that point of when, not if, that's when things will change. So ask yourself, are you visualizing in the correct way for you specifically? Because you may have been doing it how, how I am telling you, by the visual aspect, but you may be more auditory. Focus in, on, for me, I focus in on the visual details, but I add in all the other senses. For you, if you're auditory based and you prefer, focus in on the sounds. The specific, the specific sounds. Maybe you can hear the wind. Maybe you're outside. Let's say you're on a beach. You're outside. You can hear the wind. You can hear the waves crashing. You can hear the murmur of people talking. You can hear some music over in the corner. You can even hear the sand beneath your feet, even though it's so so small. For me, I wouldn't recognise that. For someone who's more auditory, would recognise that. Maybe you can hear the quietness, or maybe you can just feel that warmth of the sun on you. Maybe you can feel the 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 feelings of happiness, joy, fulfilment when you're doing what you love to do. And ask yourself that question. Are you visualizing in the right way? If you feel like you want to visualize more effectively and you want to be hypnotized to visualize more effectively and you want to get these results quickly, then send me a message because I know how to do this. I know how to get you to that state. Once I get you to that state, again, I can teach you self-hypnosis to a much deeper level. Once I get you to that state, you know how to get there. You know what that feels like. Once you know what it feels like, it's just easy for you to do. Just like tying your shoes. You know what it feels like to tie your shoes, if you can tie your shoes. So, if you've liked this video, what I want you to do is go and try the visualization. I want you to see what happens within this next week if you do this twice a day. As soon as you wake up in the morning, after a meditation, go back to any videos that I've explained about meditation, self-hypnosis, induce yourself into hypnosis and meditation, release yourself from your body, then when you're in such a still state of mind, create this perfect visualization for yourself. And I want to change the word of this now. I'm going to change it to isualization. It just is isualization. Because it's not always just visual. Okay? Got it? Isualization. <laughs> Sounds weird. But get yourself to that state and then start to visualize, isualize, hear your lies, <laughs> feel your lies, whatever it is, so that you can best create your future. When you do that more often than not, you'll start to see your future come to you. You have the power within you to do it. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, like the video. If you wanna share the video, I'd be so grateful, honestly so grateful. I've been trying to grow my YouTube for a very long time now. And I'm trying to spread my love and kindness to everyone. But I hope you keep spreading love, kindness, and positivity.